This weekend, the biopark is set to hold another big fundraiser at the zoo. But with the millions the biopark is about to get every year from a new tax, we wanted to know where all of this fundraising money will now be going. News 13's Candace Hopkins is live at the zoo with the answer. Candace. Dean, the Biopark Society says they absolutely still need fundraisers like this weekend's Beastly Bash to cover what the new tax money can. A lot of people consider the zoo simply a family attraction, but this weekend, the Biopark is looking to attract the adult crowd holding the second annual Beastly Bash. That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my husband and I would definitely come. The 21 and over event will feature games, pedal boats, other activities, and food and alcohol from local vendors. No kiddos allowed. Zoo visitors we caught up with today say returning without their children sounds like a blast. We're always looking for new things to do, like for date nights. So that's one of the things that was, was kind of uh, intriguing about it, is it's something different to do. A possible couples outing and a way for the biopark to raise much needed revenue. All those funds stay here. 100% of what we raise stays and goes to the facility. Starting soon, the biopark will be getting an estimated $16 million in funding each year from a tax passed by voters. The money can only be used for capital improvement projects like repairing old buildings and animal exhibits and constructing new ones, including the much anticipated penguin habitat expected to open in the next couple years. The Biopark Society, which is the fundraising arm of the zoo, says despite that influx of money, they still have expenses to keep up with. We still need uh, new lawnmowers, we still need uh, outreach vehicles for education. Uh, you know, veterinary equipment, you name it. All those things are still important and still part of what we do to function on a day-to-day -day basis. The Biopark Society says the new tax hike hasn't appeared to hurt fundraising efforts so far. And starting Friday, they should be getting some more help. Uber users can enter the code ABQ Biopark on any ride, and the Biopark Society will get a $5 donation. Back to you, Dean. All right, Candace, thank you. Last year, about 800 people hit the beastly bash. They hope to top that this Saturday night. For info on ticket prices and the other attractions, just head to our KRQE News 